What's going on guys, Thomas Garrett's here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can literally copy and paste motivational videos on YouTube and earn $500 per day. And the best part is you don't have to be speaking the motivation. I'm going to show you how you can find motivational speeches for free that you can use and I'm going to be showing you every single step required to make these videos from starting your channel, creating the videos, monetizing those videos and even uploading those videos onto YouTube, literally step by step. And all I ask of you is to simply watch the video so you don't miss any of the steps and smash the like button. That's all I ask. It's all completely free to do. But now, assuming you already smashed the like button, let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna show you how to make $500 just by copy and pasting motivational videos on YouTube. And before we get started, I just wanna show you that there's actually proof that people are doing this and making much more because right here is their social blade earnings for Above Inspiration, one of the motivational channels that I'm gonna show you how to make the similar videos. And they're making upwards of $25,000 per month. Let's just say that it's somewhere in the middle of this even, which it's probably a lot higher. That's where I get the $500 per day because $500 per day is 15,000 per month. And they're making way more than that. And you can see down here on the estimated daily earnings, $1,000 days are very common and even much higher. So it's very possible to do this. You just have to know how to do it. And like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do everything completely step by step. So just make sure you pay attention, take notes if you have to. But now when it comes to actually starting this, typically I would say for starting any YouTube channel, you gotta find your niche and create your channel. But you already have your niche and instead of creating the channel first, what I wanna do is show you how to create the videos first. And I'm gonna show you the rest at the end just so you can get started as fast as possible because the truth is 99% of people won't even get started. So you're already watching this video, you're ahead of most of those people, and if you actually take action and start creating the videos, you're in that 1%, okay? So with that being said, let's just get started with actually creating the videos, and I'm gonna do that by looking at videos that other channels like this are making. And you can see, insanely high views, right? Like 32 million, 13 million, 8 million, it's crazy. But the problem most people have is actually finding the audio, the motivational speeches to use for these videos. And there's a ton of different ways to do that. But my favorite way is on a website like archive.org. And this, they have the Wayback Machine where you can literally go like to any website like Amazon and then look at their website way back. But what we're gonna do is use the internet archive side of it where you can literally search in things like motivational speeches and find a ton of different stuff, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here and we're just gonna type in motivational speech. And you can see they have a bunch right here, but you can also just sort it by relevance or views and then see what are like the most popular ones. And that's where all these popular ones that a lot of these people are using on YouTube are. So let's just grab a couple from here. Like for example, we could grab the Martin Luther King one, open it in a new tab, get the Les Brown one, because you're gonna wanna grab a couple different ones and we'll grab the Jim Rohn. Okay, so now if we go over here, you can see they got all these different files here for the download options. You can show all, or you can just grab the MP3 right here. But also make sure that when you're doing this, you wanna actually write down the speakers for each of these. Because if you go to like above inspiration here and we click on this video here and go to their description right here, you can see speakers, right? So they just write down the speakers. That way you're giving them credit. You know what I mean? And it's not like you're acting like this is your own stuff. So you just wanna do this the right way. And you also don't wanna use the entire clips every single time. You wanna chop them up a little bit and just do it the right way, okay? So now, We'll go back over here and you're gonna wanna click, let's do for the MP3 one right here. And then you just go to these three dots and you hit download, okay? And you see right there, it starts downloading in the bottom left corner. And now this Les Brown one, you can see there's multiple audios here, okay? So when you go to the files right here and you go to show all, you're gonna see all these different ones. So you could just go to the MP3 for each of these and then download each of them. Okay, so I'll just open up a couple of these, just for example, and then we do the same thing. Pause it, go here, download. And then we can go to this Jim Rohn one, same thing here, you can see a bunch of them right here. So it's very simple to find these, okay? So I'm just gonna go right here, show all, and I'm just gonna download one of these. And I'm taking the MP3, okay? And then hitting download. So now, if you want, like I said, you open up like a document or something, 
and you can just write the speaker name. So you can type speakers, type in Dr. Martin Luther King, Les Brown, Jim Rohn. So just do that. Make sure you have those written down for when we do upload the video. But now this next step is where we actually create the videos. And this is the most important part. There's tons of different video editors out there. In my opinion, because when we're making these videos, if you've ever watched these videos, they basically have stock footage playing and then a voiceover in the background, which are like these motivational speeches. And you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but me personally, I like matching up the voiceover with like the different type of stock footage. So if they're talking about success, you're going to show someone who's wearing a suit or something like that. If they're talking about working out, you're going to show someone lifting weights. You know what I mean? And there's tons of ways to get these stock footage from different free websites. And then if you use a regular video editor, you just upload them in there, right? It's not very difficult. It's just an extra step. So in my opinion, the best way to create these videos is by using a tool like InVideo. And this is a tool I've showed how to use multiple times. And this is a tool we're going to use in this video because it has some super cool things about it. The most important thing is it's the video editor as well as stock footage that can get uploaded and put into the video automatically. But before you get started with InVideo, you have to create an account and they do have a free account right here. However, there is a watermark on that video. And if you get the business account, which is only $15 a month, if you pay yearly, there's no watermark and you get tons of premium media, literally a million plus of premium media. And it's insane. Now, if you have no money at all and you have to just get started with the free account, you can, but that watermark will cost you much more money than this $15 per month. Trust me. However, when you do sign up for InVideo, make sure you use the code Garrett's 25 to get 25% off your entire order. So you won't even be paying $15 per month. You'll be paying 25% less than that. And that's completely free, but that is my affiliate link. I do get paid a commission, but there's no extra charge to you and it actually saves you money. So just make sure to click the link down below in the description and use code Garrett's 25 for whichever account you sign up with. I personally have the unlimited, but it's up to you what you want to use and uh, just make sure you have that started. But now, once you have your account set up, this is what it will look like, okay? This is the home page. A lot of times I use the text to video editor, but in this one, we're just gonna use the regular editor. And then you're gonna wanna go to landscape right there. Now, right here on the side, you can see your uploads, okay? You're just starting out, so you're not gonna have all this other stuff, but I would suggest creating a folder and then using that folder for motivational stuff, right? So just call it motivational speeches. And then now you can click on that and then upload all of our speeches directly into that one. So it's just more organized. You know what I mean? So that's what I would suggest doing. Okay. So now you got the speeches here. So for example, just click the plus button for the Les Brown one right here. And now you can see part of this is cut off, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to this view all scenes, and then you can just click on that edit duration. And then whatever this full duration is, I think it was like, I don't know. Oh, it says right there, two minutes, 16 seconds. So we'll do two minutes, 16. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to listen to it. Okay. So just for example, let's listen to a couple seconds. I came back the next day, like I was seeing you for the first time. I said, hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? Okay. So hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? So let's just go to video right here and find someone saying a uh, man saying hello. That might be too specific, but we'll see what we can find. And you got to remember that these are like motivational, like intense speeches. So you could make them more funny and show like funny looking clips like this guy. If you click on here, he's just like smiling and waving, right? I probably wouldn't use that one, but you could. It really doesn't matter. I would probably use something more intense looking like right here. Click it and you can see that's super cool way more intense, right? And uh, yeah, so I, I would probably do that. And then you can trim it right here and pick the spot you want. So I would probably do something like that and then add it and then see how that looks. Okay, so let's watch it again. I came back the next day like I was seeing you for the first time. I said, hello, Mr. Butterball, how are you? He looked at me. Okay, so right when he says he looked at me, that's when you want to add a new clip. He looked at me with rage. He said, go get me some coffee. Okay. He looked at me with rage and he said, go get me some coffee. Okay. So now we're going back to where he starts talking. So we're going to decrease that to there. Now you're going to find man looks angry and points. Okay. 
Again, that's probably a little too specific, but we'll see what comes up. Okay, so I mean, this one's decent, but you can, again, just look at them and see which one you like more. Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. I'd probably just use this one just for example. So we're gonna hit add and then you go right here and then you just increase the size. He looked at me with rage. He said, go get me some co coffee. So right there, go get me some coffee. Right there, you wanna add in probably a video of coffee. You could also add coffee with guy smiling. Sometimes adding more text doesn't necessarily help, but sometimes it does to get you the exact video. So yeah, let's see what we can find here. So that, that'd probably work. So now you wanna just make this bigger. Okay. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. And you get the idea, right? Obviously, you would add some more speeches and make the video longer. But like I said, I think you get the idea. I just don't want to make this video super, super long. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll answer them all. But now you want to go up to the top and hit export and you go to 1080p and export. All right. So the video finished downloading. So let's just hit play right I here. came back the next day like I was seeing you for the first time. I said, hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? He looked at me with rage. He said, go get me some coffee. I said, yes, sir. All right. So pretty basic, but that's all you have to do for the videos, right? Anyone can do this. It takes no special skills. It just takes a little bit of time to actually copy and paste the videos onto here. But once you're done, just go right here and hit download. Before you actually upload the video, you want to have a couple things done. Okay. First off, you want to actually have a brand new channel. So I have a motivation example channel right here. Obviously, that's not a great name. So there's actually a tool that I show in my course that I'll show you right here. So it's business name generator. So you're going to use a word like inspiration or motivation in your channel name because that helps a lot with people finding you. So let's just type in motivation. OK, so now right here, you can look through these to find like a good name. So like motivation connect, that's actually pretty good. So just look at all these and find one. I actually like motivation connect. So let's go to our channel. Obviously, you would create it and type in the name then. But if you have one and you want to change the name, just go to your channel right here and then go to basic info. And that's where you have your name and your handle and all that. So we'll do motivation connect. And this is actually a new thing where YouTube has handles now. So people can't copy your handle. So we could see if it's uh, available. If not, not a big deal, right? And that one's actually available. So that's actually a really good channel. Okay, so that's that. And you obviously want to publish it real quick. But you obviously want to have a picture and stuff like that. And I usually don't show this in a YouTube video, but I'll try to make it quick. Okay. So what I use is a tool called Canva. And this is actually what I use for literally all my thumbnails, everything. Okay. So let's just go to create a design. And it really doesn't matter. I think they say like 98 by 98, but just do like 800 by 800. It's a square image, right? And I just would suggest keeping it very basic. So just click on this white background here, go to this color thing here. And I have my main colors here that's like set up for pro accounts, but Canva's completely free. If you want to get an account, my link's down below, but you can just go right here and drag it to black and then just add some text, okay? So hit add heading and then all you want to do is type in an M and this is basically a logo, right? So make the M really big and then you want to slide it into the middle right there and then you want to duplicate it by clicking that button and then put a C. But what you want to do is you want to probably get a different font. We'll do one where you can get it really skinny like that and then one where you can get it really bold like Montserrat extra bold. Okay, that's much better. And then make them, let's call it 330 for each of them. Okay, so motivation, connect. That's a perfect logo. And then you just go to share right here and you go to download. Let me hide this. Download, PNG, and download. Okay, all right. So now that we have our profile picture, you hit upload right here and then you go to right here. This is our profile picture. And then right here, you just hit done. And then you go right here to publish. Okay. So the banner image, that's the image also known as channel art that is shown above your profile picture right up here. And I actually have a template 
for creating a YouTube channel art. This is, I show all this on my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com, but I created one for this channel real quick. It just took a couple minutes, but basically I just added some text, did that right there, and then I added some elements and typed in motivation and found this cool looking one, okay? So same thing here, you're gonna go to share, and then you're gonna go to download, and then you're gonna wanna go to the page. You might only have one page, but right here, page two is this one. Hit done and download. And then back over here, we go to upload, and then you go to your YouTube channel art, and you can see it shows. This is viewable on all devices, so you can see that on everything, but only on mobile will you see that. This is desktop, and then this is on TV, you see the whole thing, okay? But we'll hit done right there, you hit done, and then you hit publish. Okay, so this was our channel before we did anything, and now that's our channel after. That looks super professional, and you're like a legitimate channel now. And like I said, I show you how to do all that completely step by step in my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com. I'm not just saying that to keep like just beating a dead horse, but like it's true. I show everything and so much more in there, but I show it a lot in this video too. Like you can probably do this on your own just from watching what I showed you. Okay. So now we gotta actually upload the video. So you go right here to create and then hit upload video. Go to select files and our file is right here. Now, when it comes to a title, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. There's tons of tools out there like vidIQ, Morning Fame, which I use a lot. And those are great. Like, don't get me wrong. I would show you how to use those in these videos, but it's just getting a little long in this specific video. So what I suggest just starting out is you really wanna look at other like popular videos. So let's say this was only a Les Brown video, right? Let's say it was a longer video and you only had Les Brown in it. I typed in Les Brown motivational speech. Look at these popular videos and then just kind of model that, right? So you can literally do the same thing. It's not like you can't use the same title, but just change things up a little bit. So let's go like this, okay? So let's see, just kind of read these, see kind of what you're planning, and then go back here and be like, one of the greatest speeches ever given. Les Brown, motivational speech, okay? So me personally, when I do my videos, this is kind of how I do them. A lot of people use like these little things to separate stuff, but me personally, I just use a dash and then I do parentheses at the end. That's just how I do it. It's totally up to you however you wanna do it, but that's just one of the ways I do it, okay? Now, this is where a lot of these channels, they don't monetize it with affiliate links. And that's with something like I did with NVIDIA. It's an affiliate link, so I get paid a commission. That's by using affiliate marketing. And that's the business model that truly changed my life. And you can actually go to websites like ClickBank and Digistore24 and find free affiliate products that you can promote and earn commissions just by putting links in your description, okay? So for example, you wanna go to clickbank.com and start here, create an account, it's all free. And then just once you've logged in, so let me log in quick, up at the top here, if you can see that, it shows Marketplace right there. And there's a couple good products that you could find for this niche, like motivational products. You could go to e-business, e-marketing. You could go to self-help, spirituality. They all have great products that would work for this niche. Me personally, I like the e-business and e-marketing one because people looking to be motivated, they're gonna wanna make money, right? So this product right here, super high gravity score, and you can earn $30 per conversion. And you can actually earn a recurring rebill. And I like this product because everyone can be interested in it. You know what I mean? Not just women or not just men, anyone, okay? So basically what you do once you've decided what product you want, you just hit promote here and you have your account right there and tracking ID you don't need. You just hit create hop link. Now, right here, this is your affiliate link. They call it a hop link, but that's your affiliate link but you don't wanna put just this link right here into your description. So go to a free website like bit.ly.com and if you scroll down right here and then paste your link in there and hit shorten, now this big long link we had turns into this little link, okay? So just copy that and if you wanna see the make sure it works, we could just paste it real quick and this will take you to paynsocialmediajobs.com and we have right here, question mark hop equals T Garrett's. So that's my affiliate link. If someone puts in their information and purchases, I earn a commission. 
okay? So now we just go back to our video here and then we say, wanna get paid to use social media? Click here and I use unicode-table.com to get these arrows and I always use this arrow, but you can use any arrow you want and uh, just copy that and then you go here and then you go back to Bitly and make sure you copy that link, but then you just paste in your link there and this is something new. So to make external links clickable, you have to create a verification. So just click verification and then just verify however you want to do it. So it's super easy to do it. So just make sure you do that. But just for example, I'll just delete that so it's not an actual link. But now for the thumbnail, you wanna go over here, look at the popular videos, okay? So they got pictures of Les Brown and then like motivational quote. And again, I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video just cause it's getting super long at this point, but you can do it all in Canva and it's super simple to do. But now once you've done that, you wanna go to no, it's not made for kids. And tags, they're really not as important as they used to be. And I personally, again, use tools like vidIQ and Morning Fame for to get all of my stuff planned out, the title, tags, everything. But they're just not that important anymore. But you could add a couple like motivational speech, motivation, you know, make sure you spell everything right, but you could do Les Brown. So just add in a few if you're not using one of those tools. Oh, and I almost forgot, before we move on, make sure you add your speakers to your description there. So just copy them from this notepad or whatever where you wrote them and put them in here. And everything looks good here, so you just wanna go to next and next, no copyright issues found, next. And then right here, you wanna to go to public. You can also schedule it out if you want, but basically you go to public and then publish. And that's how you create a video and set the entire channel up and start making money super fast with affiliate marketing. And this is just the start, by the way. You can start making so much more money once your channel gets monetized and you start making ad revenue. It's truly insane, the possibilities of YouTube. And just like I said, YouTube changed my life, but it was because of affiliate marketing with YouTube that truly changed my life. And there is a link down in the description below to the same challenge that I started. It's a 15-day challenge for $7 that I started. And that's truly what opened my eyes and allowed me to finally quit my nine-to-five job and live the life I live now. And if you're not interested in that side of things and you wanna learn more about YouTube and doing YouTube without showing your face, definitely click the link down in the description down below or go to nofaceyt.com to learn more. But if you have no money at all and you wanna just learn more about YouTube, you can watch my free YouTube course on the screen right now. And that's all I got. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.